Hello, I'm Kyria, and I direct Fletcher Pilates International, the Fletcher lineage of the Pilates method. Um, I'm here to introduce the guillotine tower, which is a wonderful piece of equipment. My teacher, Ron Fletcher, um, worked on this piece of equipment uh, regularly with Clara Pilates in the original studio. And, um, and when I first installed my guillotine in, in Arizona in my Tucson studio, it was the only guillotine in Arizona, and I think the only guillotine um, in the four corner states. So um, it's, it's been a rarity in the Pilates world, and simply because it was so difficult to install. It had to be installed into the floor and also into the ceiling through these, through these uprights. And with this redesign, um, the, the Balanced Body has, has configured. Thank you, Ken. Thank you, Balanced Body, for putting this together. Um, it's it's uh, wonderful because the struts provide the stability that was originally provided by, by taking the, the uprights all the way to the ceiling. Um, and what's also wonderful, and this is um, an option, is that there's this wood base so instead of uh, installing the, the guillotine into the floor, which is definitely an option, um, you can purchase this wood base and it can be repositioned in your studio depending on the needs of your studio. Um, so I'd just like to go through the simplicity of the guillotine tower and talk about the various parts. Again, we have the struts that provide the stability, the wood base. Um, these are the upright bars and the upright bars, just on the inside of the upright bars is a gliding bar. And um, this is the bar that glides up, up and down that gliding bar. If there's more force placed on one side of the bar or the other, the bar doesn't, doesn't glide properly. And so it really shows if there's any sort of imbalance in terms of strength or flexibility through um, either the lower or the upper body. Um, so that's, that's wonderful feedback. This is the crossbar, which is used for some of the more advanced exercises. Um, and then the eye hooks allow for different positioning of the springs. Um, so this would be for both the arm and the leg springs. The eye hooks on the gliding bar, both above and below the gliding bar. And then at the base of the uprights, and then on the crossbar here, allow us to, to attach springs both above and below. Um, we always want to attach the same weight of springs, so it would be either two yellow, two red, or two blue again, so that we don't throw the glide of the bar off. Um, so the, the guillotine basically comes with the frame of the guillotine, three sets of springs that can be attached to the gliding bar, um, two sets of springs that are used either for leg springs or arm springs, um, and then we have the safety chain and the safety strap. So it's, it's a simple piece of equipment. Um, and, uh, and very easy to use, very accessible to use and to learn how to use. There are many benefits to performing exercises on the guillotine tower that are difficult to replicate elsewhere. One of the primary benefits is, is really finding very true pelvic placement. Um, we talk a lot as Pilates teachers about placing the pelvis in more of a neutral position without an anterior posterior tilt, eliminating rotation of the pelvis, and this is one of the, the few places where clients can actually experience that um, without thinking that they're doing it or, 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 or wondering whether they are. Um, the other wonderful benefit is, is, is truer hip articulation and deeper hip articulation. So by placing the pelvis under the bar, um, one can feel if, if one hip is, is uh, slightly more rotated than the other um, and, and work for a deeper hip fold or a deeper plie. Um, that is, again, something that we're working on as, as, as Pilates teachers for a more articulate body. Um, the, the guillotine tower also leads to uh, more defined spinal articulation um, through the tower, through the teasers, through several of the exercises that you'll see in the podcast uh, that, we've, that we've put together. Um, and because the bar, um, the gliding bar, if, if uneven force is placed on the gliding bar, it won't track properly. Um, you can easily see if one side is, is either uh, stronger, more flexible, um, if there's some sort of imbalance through either the upper or the lower body. So that's, that's wonderful feedback. 
Also because of the construction of the tower and the struts, um, it's a stable piece of equipment. So all of the arm springs, the leg springs, anything that's done um, pulling with force away from the tower is completely safe. I've had some of our larger clients um, doing uh, the, the, full, the complete arm spring series on this piece of equipment, and I've never had a concern about safety. Um, so it's a wonderfully constructed piece of equipment. It provides uh, very definite feedback and articulation um, that, that is difficult, again, to replicate elsewhere. Um, we've put together a number of podcasts uh, demonstrating some of the many exercises that can be performed on the guillotine tower. And um, I encourage you to watch those. And again, thanks to Balance Body for uh, redesigning, redeveloping the guillotine tower um, for our use and um, for your studios.